Today is an exciting day for us. We are leaving the city of Manila here in the Philippines and we are heading towards the airport to fly to the island of Boracay. <laughs> we, we are, are so, so excited, so excited <laughs> about this. It, I cannot wait to go and check out some of the islands here in the Philippines, but we have a massive day ahead of us, yeah. so we really need to get going. So let's bounce. <laughs> So one of our biggest worries this morning was actually getting ourselves a taxi to the airport. While we've been in Manila here, it's been really, really hard to get a hold of a taxi unless you like flag one down and we didn't want the stress of that this morning. So thankfully we've got a taxi already booked and it's on its way so we are over the moon. Owen is escorting the taxi to our road. Is that it there? Oh, we're around the corner, yeah. <laughs> Turns out we're actually flying out of like a pretty small terminal by the looks of it. We thought we were going to like the main Manila airport, which is a big international airport. We'd get like breakfast and stuff there. But yeah, this is a pretty small looking airport. It was like quite a wee bit away from the main airport and it is pretty manic as well. There's a lot of people, a lot of stress going around by the feels of it. And yeah, I don't know how this is gonna go, but interesting anyway. So this is the woman's queue and that's the one over there. So you'll have to wait for me. We made it. Yes. Yes. And yes. And confirm. <laughs> We're getting checked in. Woo! And they're printing our boarding pass tonight. <gasps> Yay. Just like that. Okay, so we have just got our boarding passes printed out and we are now in the queue to drop off our bags. But it is massive. It's mental. <laughs> so big. Check out this queue. So it starts here and goes the whole way around the outskirts, the whole way around there, the whole way around there, way down there, and then zigzags the whole way in there until we get to the bottom. Yay! And the best of it is when she pointed us over this way, I was like, oh, it doesn't look too long. Not realizing that it was like massive. Yeah. <laughs> the whole way around this whole room. <laughs> maybe it's a good job we're here three hours early. Yeah, maybe a good thing. <laughs> So we ended up queuing for an hour and 45 minutes to get our bags checked in, but we've now made our way over to the departure lounge and there's a few different stalls that we can go to for food, but we're really, really hungry. So we've actually picked ourselves up some chicken and rice. Owen's getting stuck in now. Trying to anyway. To be honest, the food options were pretty, pretty crap. There was only one place serving real food and it was literally just chicken and rice or beef and rice. So we're here, it's a full like one room situation in the airport. The departure gets there, the food stalls are there and the waiting lounge is here in the middle. So yeah, just gonna have a wee bit of food, then depart for, or then get on our plane. We think it's like an hour, maybe an hour and a half of a plane journey. So hopefully it'll be okay. So we're actually flying out of Terminal 4 here in Manila. So if you are coming to this terminal, make sure to give yourself plenty of time to get through the checked in baggage area because it was, it was just manic out there. We can now chill out and just wait for our plane to board. So it's all going well. Okay, so I thought this would be a good kind of time to explain a wee bit more about our journey today. So our end goal is to make it the whole way to an island called Boracay, which is a wee tiny, tiny island in the central Philippines. But to get there, we're actually flying to an airport cal called Calibi, or Calibay, I think it's pronounced, which is quite close to Boracay, as close as what we could get flights to anyway. We then need to figure out how to get from there to another town called Clanaclan, we think it is. <laughs> so we think we might and hopefully should be able to get a bus from the airport in Kalibi to Clanaclan, which should take anywhere roughly from an hour and a half till maybe three and a half hours. So we don't know how we're going to do that, so we're hoping it's going to work out. And then we have to get a ferry from Clanaclan the whole way over to Boracay, which should hopefully only be like a, like a 15 minute ferry, we think. So yeah, we don't really have much planned today. We don't really know how the journey is going to go, so this could be interesting. <laughs> Getting our airplane priorities in. A few donuts for the road. I'm a happy girl. <laughs> Donuts for the room. They look hey. so, so tasty. Guess traveling with it. Ooh, excited, we're finally boarding. 
We're in. much bigger than I expected. So, we're pretty excited. <laughs> Next up for Kay. Using our time productively, getting some work done. We were <laughs> <laughs> Making myself comfortable while we wait for our bags. Bag number one. Bag number two. Bag number two. I have to get up from my very comfortable trolley and make a make a move. So the flight only lasted about 55 minutes. There was a little bit of turbulence while we were in the air, but nothing too serious. We're off, we've got our bags, and the next step is trying to figure out how we're gonna get to Borke itself. But I'm sure it's not gonna be that difficult. There's a lot of people around, so let's hope that bus is running. <laughs> I'll sit in here and hold the bikes. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. Thank you. So getting the bus didn't really work out. There was no coaches or nothing at the airport that we were kind of expecting. We read online they kind of be at the airport waiting for like planes to come in to take people to Cataclan to then go on to Borkay Island. But we've managed to get a tricycle here to take us away to the bus station and we're hoping we can then get a local bus from the bus station the whole way to Cataclan. So yeah, this is a bit of an interesting ride. And this is our first ride still, so it's exciting. <laughs> Hi! And we've arrived at the bus station. Kind of. <laughs> okay, are we sorted? Our bus has just pulled in, they've taken our bags and they told us to get on. On rail. Let's go. Oh, this is great. We honestly were a wee bit nervous whenever we got off the airplane and found out there was no like buses running from the airport to where we're actually looking to go to Cataclan. But we were literally here at the bus station at the side of the road. Station. station. <laughs> like a, I don't even know what you call it, like a lay-by, like a field the buses pull into basically. But yeah, the buses literally arrived in like no time. We're on it straight away. It's 100%. It's a big coach. We're so, so happy about it. It even know. had a shop. Yeah, we even got a shop. We got a sandwich, a bottle of Coke and water but we don't know how much it's going to cost yet and that was really the main reason why we were looking to get the bus as well was because we knew it would be the cheaper option so I'm sure it won't be too much but I'm just so happy this is working out so far <laughs> at the Catalan jetty port right now but we actually were supposed to go to the Taboon port which is only a five minute tricycle ride away from here so we're gonna hop on a tricycle now head over there and hopefully get a boat from there over to Borakai but yeah I think this one's only like a big ferry port I'm not really too sure but we're gonna head over there now anyway very heavy <laughs> so we have just hopped in our second tricycle off today and this one is going to take us around to the other port. We got yes. it for 30 peso each, but that was on the grounds that other people were going to come and share the tricycle with us. Otherwise, it was going to be 120 pesos. But it's been really busy in the area, so... We're going to wait around yeah. and hope more people come to <laughs> like, save half the money, yeah. So we're going to sit and wait and see what happens. Okay, so this has turned out to be a bit more of a task than we thought. We just had a massively overpay for our tricycle because we were waiting around and waiting around looking for other people to come and nobody came. We ended up paying 100 pesos in the end for the two of us. Whenever there was a sheet at the very front of the tricycle stating the route we were doing and it should have been 20 pesos each, but 
we just had to pay to get here. So we're here now, and now we're gonna to try to figure out can we get the boat. And we know we also have to pay an environmental fee, a ferry fee, and uh, something else fee, maybe a tourist tax or something as well, to get to Boracay, but we'll get there the day at some stage. Okay, so that was a lot more expensive than what we thought. Because we're foreigners here, we actually had to pay 300 pesos each just as a environmental fee. Then we also had to pay 100 pesos for an... Yeah, then we also had to pay 100 pesos for our terminal fee. And now we have to go get our ferry ticket that we have no idea how much it's gonna cost. So it's working out quite expensive to get to this island and a lot more hassle than what we originally thought it was gonna to be too, to be honest. So that actually wasn't too bad. The tickets only cost 50 pesos each. So I was expecting a lot more. <laughs> Okay, so it's starting to get dark, so I'm just glad we're getting onto a boat and finally getting to Boracay. We can see so, it. It's right yeah. over there. It's tasing us. It's right there. Caught behind the nation blind. How to reach for the city lines. This ain't where I belong. Hey, look at me, man, what I become. We've got one tired wee girl in our hands here. <laughs> it's been a long day. A very, very long day. But it's going to be worth it once we get there. What I thought was gone. Bye bye, boat. We have arrived. You probably can't even see us. It's pitch black at the minute. Even though it's only like 7 o'clock. So maybe we'll pick this up whenever we get to our accommodation and we've actually got some light. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully this is the last tricycle of the day and we are going home and we will definitely pick up the end. <laughs> Finally, we have arrived here at our accommodation Finally. in Boracay. <laughs> we have got here and we are so, so happy to be here. Yeah. Today has actually been really, really easy, really smooth and yeah. the transport has actually been really, really good, good as well. Definitely, pretty good, yeah. We've honestly had a really, really smooth and easy day but we're just so happy to finally be here and be going to bed because we are just... Racked. Yeah, yeah <laughs> we're, we're racked to be honest. But our like toot or no, we toot toot driver, but they're called tricycles here basically, which is their mode of transport. Um, our tricycle driver took us from the pier to our accommodation and gave us a full tour of the island basically as we he were doing well it. may well have been a tour guide. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, because we're staying at the top end of the island, so we had to get like a half an hour ride the whole way through the island. So he gave us a great tour and we know what we're doing tomorrow pretty much already because of that. So that was a great way to get started basically in the island, yeah. So we're going to leave this video here and call it a night because we are just wrecked. But we just wanted to say a massive thank you to absolutely everybody who's come on board with the channel recently, who's subscribed to us, who's been liking and commenting our videos. We really, really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, like, so thank much. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, we really definitely. Mean it. Yeah, honestly, it's, it's just been amazing. So thank you so much. But yeah, we would love it if you enjoyed this video to hit the like button again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hopefully you will join us for the rest of our adventures here in Boracay and the rest of the Philippines. See you yeah. later. <laughs>